What's up guys? My name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivate YouTube channel. Today we're gonna go read chapter 12 in our Bible. Let's get to where we're gonna go read. It's gonna be a fun one. sunset sitting out here in the sun on our beautiful Suzuki 250 quad man this thing is it's awesome it's amazing and we absolutely love it anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and use this moment to roll that intro So now that you guys are here and we're ready sitting on the four-wheeler, I've got my Bible right here. You guys can get the same Bible down in the description below. Check it out. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so we may earn a little commission, and it, it honestly it helps us. Even if you don't buy it, you click on the link and you check out with something else. Hey, it can help us out. We appreciate that. So let's dive into our Bible Take these sunglasses, flip them around, just like that. And we, oh, that's 19. We are on Genesis chapter 12. I can't believe we've made it this far already. We're going we're gonna to get through this whole thing. So, here we go. The call of Abram. Now the Lord said to Abram, go from your country... Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I show I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he had departed from Haran. 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 And Abram took Sari, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, all the people that they had acquired, acquired in Harry and they set out to go to the land the land of Canaan 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 when they came to the land of Canaan Abram passed through the land to the place to the place at Shechem 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 I'm not too sure, guys. I apologize. To the Oak of the Moor. Moray. At the time the Canaanites were in the land, the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved to the hill country on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east and there he built an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord and Abram journeyed on still going towards Negbe 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 Nijbe Nijbe <laughs> that doesn't sound right it sounds like Nijbe <laughs> maybe that's it Nijbe Nijbe Abram and Sarai in Egypt. Now, there was a was a famine in the land, so Abram went down to Egypt to sojourn, 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 John, Jorn, sojourn. There, for the famine was severe in the land. When he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, to Sarai, his wife, "I know that you are a." 
woman beautiful in appearance. And when the Egypt see you, they will say, this is his wife? Then they will kill me, but they will let you live. Say you are my sister, that it may go well with me because of you, and that my life may be spared for your sake. When Abram entered Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. And when the princes of Pharaoh saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh. And the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house, and for her sake he dealt well with Abram. And he had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, male servants, female servants, female donkeys, and camels. But the Lord afflicted Pharaoh's and his, Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sari, Abram's wife. So Pharaoh's called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say, Why did you say, She is my sister? So that I took her for my wife. Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. And Pharaoh gave men orders concerning him. And they sent him away with his wife and all that he had had. And that brings us to chapter 13 in Genesis. Man, that's amazing. We got some company now. But, just like Abram, when God speaks to you and tells you to go somewhere... You just got to go. You got to go. You got to trust him. You got to follow him. And know that when you arrive, he's going to make blessings. He's going to turn you into the blessing for somebody else. And those who bless you, he will bless. And those who who um, dishonor you, he will curse. Man, that hits home. And anyhow, um, I, I want to give a big shout out real quick. We just got our haircuts, Audi. Adi, Riley, and I, we got our haircuts, and we got them at Legends Barbershop here in Hutchison, Kansas, and Tommy, man, if you're watching, this is for you, bud, because you guys, you have a Bible study going on Friday nights at 7 up there at Legends, and I think that's absolutely amazing, the one and only business that I know that's doing that, so, man, keep doing it, Doing God, we're doing God's work here, even though I'm stumbling through reading the Bible, I'm sitting here still reading it, and getting it out, this is God's word, and y'all need to hear it, everybody needs to hear it, I need to hear it, and I need to let it soak in, so thank you Jesus, thank you God, thank you Holy Spirit, because you guys, it's all for you, it's all for them, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up, don't forget to share it, go watch the other ones, and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, we're trying to hit 5,000, maybe 10,000, who knows, maybe we'll hit the moon with 100,000. So, thank you guys so much for sticking around. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night, and God bless. I mean, man, God is beautiful. Beautiful. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are